Hi everyone, Group R60 here. Okay, I still haven't learned a new name yet. I haven't figured that out, but anyway. I don't know what I've shown you, what I haven't. I've been kind of busy. Um, I have a package here. Now, we're in stay-at-home orders. We're in lockdown, pretty much. And uh, except for going out to pharmacies, doctor's appointments, and groceries, etc., uh, we're pretty much staying home. I did have to go out today and get some milk. I'm having my after supper tea. Um, I did have to go and pick up a few things at the grocery store. I uh, figured uh, there's supposed to be a snowstorm coming tonight. So I uh, decided I better go out and do what I needed to do and get that all done. So what I've been doing, I still have all of my Valentine stuff up there. You can't see it. Um, yeah, up there. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I almost spilt my tea. Uh. This is real life stuff, guys. Um, I still haven't organized behind me yet. I haven't organized where I want to keep things like this. Um, before, in my other room, I had a shelf and I put things on there and everything was okay. So anyway, um, someone was asking, what am I going to do with these, these um, pocket letters? I haven't put anything on the back, notes or nothing yet. And I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I make them up. Sometimes I mail them. Now, like as I was about to say, because we're on lockdown, stay at home orders, I don't know if the post office is open. Uh, we have a postal outlet at our pharmacy, and I may go over there because I have a letter with some goodies in it to send to someone. And I used, I didn't use my own stamp. Um, remember I bought this wax stamp set? What is this one here? And that's the pressure thing to push it down. And the rest of it is over there. I don't want to, I don't want to take it all out. Anyway, but at the uh, dollar store, I had found these, um, they're, they're, plastic of some sort now sorry I'm just turning around to see if I can find them and they're not really handy however I've got these and then there I've also got some light blue ones and I'm not going to turn it around because you'll see well maybe I can just I kind of put things on it I've already sealed it so I created this card and I forgot to videotape it I forgot to take a photograph of it. I'm mad at myself for doing that. Anyway, so I have that to mail out. I've got this little box. It was the smallest I could find. It's going to be heavy. It's going to the US. Um, it has a note in here for someone um, and um, a little something in here. And I also added a little something else just to send, but I can't send it until I know whether or not the post office is open. Oh, take a deep breath, Donna. You've done this before. Calm down. <laughs> um, I started making some cards and I'm, you know, I had those stickers and I made this happy birthday one. Now I'm going to have to look at the viewer to see if you can see it okay. So I made this happy birthday card with these dollar store stickers and these dollar store gems and then when you open it um, I've rounded the corners here and I also used and I have a bunch of these I haven't color designated them and I haven't cleaned them this one was designated blue and green and all I did was just I had used a stamp with a very light color. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. And I kind of stamped it all over the place. I just wanted it very light so that you can barely see it. And then I just took my color box 
um, paint box that I have and the removable pieces and stuff that I had bought at Michael's a while ago because I didn't have all the ink colors I wanted and I found that um, this worked good for me. I mean, um, I can't afford to go out and buy, you know, one container of ink when I can use all of these and get all the colors I need. So anyway, and what I did was I took the uh, turquoise, if you want to call it, or teal, and I just went around it and around the little girl a little bit. And then in the inside, I also, just to soften it, went around the outside of that. And that is my little happy birthday card for somebody. I just don't know who yet. And um, I did ask everyone a while back to give me their addresses and I think birthdays. And I have to apologize because I have not been a good girl. 2020 has not been a good year for me, for any of us. All right, now I got this. I can't open it. Here we go. Um, I like to keep the brushes in here so they don't get dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm going to enjoy my tea while I'm chatting with you. I hope you don't mind. I'm not prepared to go on camera for a while. So we're just going to uh, play around, chit chat. I found my little bunny bunny bum that I had made in this little basket that I had picked up and put things around from Easter. This was last, no, the year before. This was 2019 because last year I don't think I did anything for any of the holidays. I think we were all too stressed out, crazy stressed. Oh, let me go up here. I put all of my um, colored markers in here. Some of them are Copic, I think, and others are from, um, yeah, these are the Copic ones. So the rounded ones, if you can see, the rounded ones are the Copic. They're very expensive. And when I was at the dollar store, I think it was Dollarama. Could have been Dollar Tree, but I think it was... I, don't, I think it was Dollarama. Uh, these craft smart ones or craft something ones um, with the double double sided, um, the fine point and the thicker point, and um, they came in packages of four or five, I think, different colors. And I have two packages in here, and um, you know, I was especially looking for like different flesh tones and different um, pinks at the time. So I need to get I need to get some more colors, but these right now fit perfectly in here. And thank goodness I've got a shelf on my window, or I got a window sill that I can put a lot of that stuff on. I've got all kinds of stuff on my window sill that I haven't got any place to put it right now. Behind me, I've got um, a shelving unit. You know the the box one I was going to say. The block ones, the box ones. The uh, three, six, three, six, nine, nine cubes, nine cubic cubes. Anyway, behind me, it's not in any particular order. I had it very nicely set up in my room with baskets on it. However, uh, bringing it out here, I realized I need more space. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I got to fix up my tray because I just brought everything out all over the place and I really want to organize it. But that'll be kind of last because it's semi-organized. Just a pile of things. So I think I showed you this one. This was my Easter one. I think I have that at the end of a video. I'm not sure. So to answer uh, Thelma when she asked me, what am I going to do with these? I have no idea. I just needed to get into some crafting practice. Um, I really needed to, you know, get back into sort of the flow of doing crafts again and um, making the cards. So I made the cards. I made two cards. I made two pocket letters. And I think um, later tonight 
I'm going to do a couple of um, boxes. I think I'm going to use some paper that I have stashed and um, I'm going to do that. I got to get my my um, hot glue gun out. I want to fix this. This comes out very easily and I don't like it sort of sitting up high. I'd like to poke it down in there and make it a little prettier. I'll have it looked a little more bunchy, maybe put a little ribbon around here. Um, you know, these are things we can do with stuff that we buy at the dollar store to pretty it up. I've got lots of weird things on my shelf. Now let's see if I can reach it without knocking down my camera. It's probably dusty and I apologize for that. This was one of my favorite things to do. Now, I don't know if it's going to show up properly or if I'm going to be making a total mess of it. But this is a wine glass. Yes, it's very dusty. I can see it. Oh my God, how embarrassing. But I mean, it's been sitting on my windowsill for the last year. I've always loved doing these kind of um, wine glass rose glasses and decorating them and some of them I have put wax because I do have some wax melt in there and uh, put an impression in it so that a tea light you can light a tea light without um, melting down to the flower and burning or anything like that but I love doing these things these are um, a lot of fun to do and they're very pretty you know and if anybody wanted to, um, deck, you know, you could put you could put water in here and put a floating candle very easily in here, or you could just add water to it and put sprinkles on it. Um, there's so many things you could do to make it very pretty, but I just think that these are a lot of fun to make, and I do have quite a few of them in the house. But this was one of my favorites. This one, and I have a champagne glass that is a, a red rose. You may have seen it in some of my videos. But uh, anyway, those are the kind of things I like to do. That's all I'm going to share with you today. I just wanted to um, let a few of my um, subscribers, my friends, to let them know that... Uh, even though they don't know they're getting it. I've got uh, a couple of things I'd like to mail, but unfortunately I don't know when uh, I'll be able to do that. I will check the pharmacy to see. I'm going to do a few things. I just want to get in the practice of looking for things. What do I have in my stash? You know, things that I've forgotten I've had. I wanted to play around with this glue plan, glue plan, <laughs> glue plan, glue pen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and see how that works. See how well it holds up over time. Because um, everything sticks right away, but will it still be stuck in a month from now if it's something that you're displaying? So I like to check that out. I want to play around with my, um, whoop, oh, there goes my flower, with my um, wax set, my little book. Oops, how did that get in there? Um, this is my wax, this is my letter. My, na my name is Donna, and the letter, I got the letter D for my wax melt. And I did try one, but it was too thin and it broke. But I kept it in here anyway, just to show myself that I could actually do it. Um, but I'd like to be able to do that on the back of notes and letters that I send out. And as I said, I've been very tardy. The pandemic has been a perfect opportunity for me to follow up with all of my um, 
sweet friends that have sent me their name and their addresses and their birthdays so that I could send them out a card and I didn't do it and I feel like I lost a whole year I really do I feel like I have lost a complete year when it comes to crafting or or taking care of my YouTube channel or even taking care of myself so I'm going to finish my tea I'm going to get out a couple of my older videos that I have done to get in sort of the habit of creating something and it might spark a little uh, creative juice to maybe try something new there are a few things I would like to try um, I'm not going to be watching, I'm going to throw that out. I'm not going to be watching any more videos uh, of people who, uh, they're, they're beautiful. Please don't get me wrong. They're beautiful. I love what people create. However, if they have bought a template, like a box from Stampin' Up, um, where you get like 50 boxes in a package, and then decorate it. Um, I don't want to to follow any of any of those kind of crafts. I want to watch people do things from scrap. That's something that they've created on their own. That you don't need a die cut to to um, create it. That you don't have to go out and order. And I think I was becoming so overwhelmed by all of these beautiful you know ferris wheels and um oh, trucks and 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 all kinds of things that you could make but you've got to buy the die cut in order to make it and the die cuts are not cheap and how often am i going to make a ferris wheel how often am i going to make so um, I think I think you understand what I'm saying. I mean, I admire them for doing it. I think it's great if they can afford it. It's not that I can't afford it. It's that it's wasting money because I don't have young children, nephews, nieces, and so on um, to do a lot of these things for. I have five grandsons, and they're all growing up, um, and I can't make anything feminine for them. So you know, it's wasted for me. And, um, and I hope you will all understand what I'm trying to say. So I really want to get back to basic, create it yourself or follow someone who has created it and see if we can make it. Uh, I got so caught up in all of the other, um, crafting, you know, um, what some people call sort of the next level crafting. And it's not that I don't want to go to that next level. I can't, I can't justify buying any more uh, die cuts or paper pads or anything else until I start using what I have. <sighs> Rant over. <laughs> so I just want to let you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, things, maybe trying to do it better than I used to do it. Um, I want to try and do a couple more just to get back in the swing, just to kind of feel good about crafting again and creating and how much fun and maybe adding a little twist to uh, some of the things that I've already created. Anyway, guys, I have chatted long enough. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope to see you again soon and hopefully with a nice, um, a paper craft that we can do together, something that's not too difficult and that we can all just have a little fun with. Um, perhaps I may um, do a couple of cards. That's always something that's unique. I mean, everybody has these cards and if you don't, you can always cut them to size, fold them in half and create a card you can even make your own envelopes if you have one of those envelope punches, which is one of the nicer things that I did buy. So I may sit down and sort of go through some of the things that I have bought and never used or didn't 
didn't use, follow up using. And some of the things that were so, you know, mind blowing and changing my whole creative life by buying them, like my paper cutter, things like that. My crocodile. Now, I bought the big one because I needed something to go um, quite lengthy in here. And I also wanted something that I could use to not only um, do holes, but also um, those eyelets and things like that. And uh, it pretty well stays out of the way, except when I run out of space on my table. All right, time for me to go. Thanks for joining me. I was looking at some cute little tea light cakes, thinking it would be fun to make one of those again. I haven't done that in a while. But um, we'll, we'll see. We never know. I never know what I'm going to be doing. But tonight, after the video and after I've edited it, I'm going to sit down, uh, go through a couple of my old videos and see if I can uh, revamp some of the other uh, paper crafts that I've done. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate you coming by. I hope you will subscribe. And I hope you'll ring that bell so you'll be notified when... Uh, when I do upload another video, we never know. I don't have, I was going to set a date. I was going to set um, Mondays and Thursdays. And that's all I was going to do. And I end up doing sometimes two a day. I apologize for that, but I hope you don't mind. Just like getting together, like chatting with you. And after mom's gone to bed and I'm sitting out here in the living room, I like to pull out the uh, the camera and just chat for a bit. I should do a live is what I should try and do. And maybe that's in the future. Anyway, thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.